what is up PokeTubers, I am Tort, and we just got back from Walmart, and they restocked, or I don't even know if this is a restock, but this is their Black Friday deal, the Jirachi GX Collection, for $20. Now, I saw someone on Discord in SoCal, Southern California, get this box for 10 bucks. No idea how it's possible, but at $20, this is a pretty good deal. Because you get 10 packs, so $2 a pack. There is an X and Y Evolutions. There's a Ultra Prism, Steam Siege, Fates Collide, Breakpoint. There's a lot of different stuff in here. We're going to get right into this video. I'm actually going to crack that promo and put it in a card saver and get that graded. Because I think that promo is cool. I got five boxes total. I'm going to open one of them and then maybe keep the rest sealed. I don't know what's going to happen with the price point. If it's going to go up or down or what. But $20 for 10 packs is a pretty good deal. And... I just want to see if this box is worth it, so stay tuned. I'm going to move the camera closer so we can get into this. Let's go. All right, for right now, you're just going to see me crack into it. I know my this camera's not, doesn't have the perfect setup, but these things come wrapped in this weird, like, cellophane over the actual box. I haven't seen that before on a Pokemon box from Walmart, so I'm going to take that off quickly and then crack into this box from this side. Uh, okay. So it opens up like that, pull this whole plastic thing out, which I think this is such a waste of plastic and materials, but here it looks like that, I know I'm hitting my camera, it's like, this is an absolute enormous box, this thing is like 20 inches long, if not 2 feet, nah, maybe not 2 feet, but it is huge. So let's go ahead and crack this open, you get 2 coins, uh, I don't even know what that is, uh, but you got a Pikachu as well, so 2 coins, 3 promo cards. Let's move that out of here. Let's get open these packs. I can't wait to open this because it's cool. I haven't opened like half of this stuff. So, uh, it's X and Y evolutions with the Charizard on the front. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, and then you get your Jirachi promo, which is awesome. I'm going to sleeve that right away. Here's a code card for you guys if you want to use that. I got to get a new camera too. This T5i is getting old. So, there's that. Uh, then you get a Lucario promo, which that card's really cool. Might sleeve that one up. And a, who's this? Desidui? Desidui? I don't know. Hollow. So there we go. That's all the packs. Let me move my camera. Alright guys, there you go. I just put the Jirachi in a card saver. So that will be going with my next other PSA submission I got. I just want to show you this quick. I got a Hidden Fates, Shiny Scyther, which I thought this card was really good looking. So I paid, I think, 9 or $10 for this. I bought a base set Hitmonchan, uh, Near Mint. So that's going. Uh, and then the Jirachi. So this is going to be the start of my next order. So we will get into that. But let's open these packs. Super excited for this. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. Uh, there's How many Ultra Prisms are there? Here's three Ultra Prisms. Uh, Sun and Moon Base, Sun and Moon Base, Fates Collide Evolution, Sun and Moon Base, Steam Siege, and Breakpoint. Alright, so you get, you get three Ultra Prisms, three Sun and Moon Base, one Breakpoint, one Steam Siege, one Fates Collide, and then one Evolutions, which we're going to save this for last, obviously. Let's go ahead and do Sun and Moon Base, since that's probably the least sought after stuff. So we'll crack into these quick and uh, see what we can pull. I don't know like half of this stuff. I haven't, there's a code for you so you can probably see that. I haven't uh, opened a lot of Sun and Moon Base, so let's go ahead and do this. Because I don't know if we're going to pull anything good. I don't even know what's in this set to be honest. So Young Goose, Litten. Firo, it's a cool art. Paris, or OG. Lillipup, a reverse drowsy. And an Incineroar, non hollow rare. Spin, Spinda and Steamy. So, there you go for that one. Another Sun and Moon base. If I can open this, there you go. So, I'm not doing the card trick because that takes too much time. Honestly, I don't even care about all the names either, but Meowth. Sandile. Oh, I think I saw a hit. Crab Roller. Drowsy. Grubbin. Reverse Chinchow. Oh, I did not see a hit. And a non-hollow rare uh, Cloyster. Energy. 
Retrieval, Wishy Washy, and Raticate. Alolan Raticate. So two non hollows, two non hollow rares out of the first two packs. And these are an absolute pain to open. I swear I have the worst luck opening packs. So Growlithe, Popolo, Wingle, Surfskit, Young Goose again, Reverse Wingle, and a Lun Lunala? Lunala GX. It's a cool art. Put that back there in front of the Dark Charizard. Uh, Brion, Persian, and Switch. So that's Sun and Moon Base. Decent set, I guess. I don't really know much about it. I also don't open it too often. So I guess we'll do the Ultra Prism, Sun and Moon Ultra Prisms next. I think this set's a little older. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments. I don't know when this set came out. I just kind of got back into the newer sets over the past year. Uh, so I don't know anything about this set, Ultra Prism. So let's go ahead and try this out. Gibble, which I think there's a shiny in Hidden Fates. Shiny Gibble. Dewpiter, Shinx, Hippopotas. Snover, Reverse Magneton, that's really cool art, and a Heat Rotom, Heat Rotom, rare, non hollow, so another Rotom. So that's that. Second pack of Ultra Prism, I don't know what you can pull in this set, I don't know what the, what's the best card, but if you guys could let me know in the comments, because I've never opened this, so it's kind of cool to open sets that you've never opened. Two Magnemites and Execute, so there's some Gen 1 in there. Uh, Mo Rotom, that looks like a lawnmower. That's <laughs> not that cool. Uh, and a Tapu Lili, Tapu Lele, not Hollow Rare. Skunk Tank, Pal Pad. So, so far, this box is not looking good unless I get really unlucky with boxes. We had one hit so far out of, what is that? Six packs. I think that rate's pretty bad. Glamo Cherubi. Electabuzz, that's very cool artwork. Turtwig, Cosmog, Reverse Passamian, and another non hollow rare Heat Rodham, which I seem to get a lot of. I, I seem to get a lot of, uh. Is that all three packs? Ultra Prism, Ultra Prism. I guess that's all three Ultra Prisms, guys. Yep. And, yeah, that's all three Ultra Prisms. Wow. Alrighty. Let's go do uh, Steam, Steam Siege, I guess. Steam Siege is next. We only have four packs left out of this. And so far the best pull we've had is that Lunala. Dude, like seriously. I'm like ripping into this thing. I don't understand this pack. I honestly don't. Alright, hop it. Hop it. Dino, Litleo, Nosepass, C Dot, Reverse Tangela, which that's all awesome. And a non hollow rare Weevil. Ninja Boy. Rapidash, look at that. Some of the artwork in the newer sets are cool though. Alright, we'll do Fates Collide next. That one opened super easy, so. I think one of these has a Lugia in it, but I'm not entirely sure. Here we go. Spoink. Solosis. Binnacle. Riolu. A Minchino. Reverse N. Just straight N, nothing else. And a non holo rare Lucario. Dugong. That kind of reminds me of some OG artwork right there. And energy. Dude, we've had literally one hit in nine or eight packs. We're going into a uh, break point. Oh my gosh, this was uh, another rough box. I, I swear to God I opened the worst boxes because I never get hits. That Kanto Power Box, absolutely nothing out of that. So, Petilil, Skrelp, Corsola, Ratatat, some OG, Cricket, Cricket Tot, Star You Reverse, another, another artwork, very nice. You see the ocean waves there, it's cool. And a non hollow rare. Trevenant. That is, oh, Gerardo Spirit Link, that's kind of cool. Professor Sycamore. So that is literally 
everything. We got our last one. Save the best for last. X and Y Evolutions. These packs, I think, are still worth around $10 a pack. But nothing beats this OG artwork, to be honest. It's so awesome. And uh, I love it. So, last pack. Hopefully we can pull some magic because we had some really bad luck in this box. Again, another bad box. Vulpix. Electabuzz. Magikarp. Ghastly. Sandshrew. Reverse Caterpie. Here it is, baby. Let's see. Give me... 29. This is probably... I don't even know who this is. But if it's hollow, I'd be real happy. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Reverse hollow. Brock's grit. Guys, that was this whole box, and this is what we hit. So that is what's in the Jirachi collection from Walmart. It is $20, so you are paying $2 a pack. If that seems worth it to you, go ahead and check it out. I know when I went, we bought 12 of them. Me and my one friend bought 12 of them, and the guy behind us bought the other 38 boxes. So... I don't know if there's a lot of resale in this, but people are picking these up at a mass quantity, so it might be worth just holding on to some. I have four other boxes that I'm going to keep sealed. I don't know if I should open any more after the luck I've had here, because this is pretty awful. So, thank you guys for watching. I am Tort. Stay tuned for a lot more videos. I'm going to hopefully open up 36 packs of Hidden Fates, and maybe more CP so I can pull a Zard for myself. So, Thank you so much for watching. All the links are down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.